Right, now let's look at how to uh, get images off the machine. Um, for this, we're going to need a USB stick. And I'm going to put the USB stick in one of the serial ports on the side of the machine. Here. Now I need to be in the patient demographic screen in order to be able to select the patient that I want. And I'm going to be wanting to go to the data transfer function, which is accessible on the top left-hand side of the patient demographic screen. You'll see now that I have various tasks listed down the left-hand side. And the one that I'm interested in is export. When I click export, you'll see that I have two screens come up on the, well, the, the, the top part of the screen and the bottom part of a split screen. And I've also got a destination drive that becomes available to me. You can see that I've got a USB in drive one. So this is where we're going to, this, this is the destination drive that we're going to be sending the images to. On the top half of the screen, I've got the patients that are listed on this machine. So if I select the patient that I want to transfer over and come down to the transfer button, you can see we now have a progress bar and the information from this patient is being then transferred from the hard drive of the machine to the USB stick that's in drive one. And we'll be able to see the progress of this as it happens along here. It also tells you at the bottom of the screen that it's copying items one of one. Once the patient has been transferred onto the USB drive, you'll be able to see it down here. It appears down here when it's on the USB stick. You'll also see up here that the status message is OK, and you've got a red tick in the copied box. That means that the, all the information has gone from the hard drive and been copied down onto your USB stick. You'll see, you would have seen under here that it's finished creating the DICOM directory file. This means that the information from this patient has been transferred to the USB stick in DICOM format.